Oh, oh wait, you got a boyfriend? Oh, yeah. What are you doing out here then, girl? He trusts me. He know where I'm at. He got my location. He know what I look like. I hey, know. daddy. I'm <laughs> suck your dick when I get home. <laughs> I'm a bit ashamed to say this, but that is one of my favorite clips on the internet. That is just brilliant. I won't blame you if you want to rewatch that one. That's just extraordinary. Her confidence. I mean, she's out. She's dressed up because she wants to get male attention. But I know an insult that would absolutely devastate her because it's devastating to all women when they hear that. And that's if you call them a tease. When I say a woman is a tease, you know the kind of woman that I'm talking about. She's very friendly, very flirtatious, even a bit sexual, you know. She's leading you to believe that she's interested in you, that the two of you are going to be getting together, but actually she has no intention of following through. She's been leading you on. When it comes time for you to make a move, she acts all surprised, like, oh, I'm so sorry, I, I don't think of you in that way. I was just being friendly. I'm sorry if you misread things. Now, sometimes that's true. Sometimes men do misread situations. But what I've noticed is that when a woman is genuinely being a tease, you know, leading men on for attention, women are reluctant to criticize that woman's behavior and they can actually feel sorry for her and paint the situation as though she's the victim. Something like, oh, isn't it sad that she needs to resort to flirting? I feel so sorry for her that she has to lead with her sexuality in order to get men to be friendly with her. Yes, she's being dishonest about her intentions, but she's the real victim and having to resort to that in order to get the guys to notice her. I don't buy it. I actually think it's sexist to infantilize women like this and act like they have no agency. I think it's a basic reasonable expectation that as an adult, you're able to be aware of the impact that you're having on other people and show some empathy, some compassion. Being a tease is an awful female behavior. It's very psychologically dark, manipulating men just to boost your own ego? If a woman is being a genuine tease, then it's difficult for me to see how she is the victim in that situation because she leaves the interaction feeling great about herself. I flirted with him, I talked with him, I made him think that I was sexually attracted in him, and he just ate it up. He gave me so much attention. He made me feel so desirable, so validated in my attractiveness. She's the victim? I don't think so. It's called fraud. She has intentionally misrepresented herself in order to selfishly extract something from the real victim, which is the man. So where's the compassion for him in this situation? He's lonely. He wants to form a connection with somebody. And here comes this girl leading him to believe that she's interested in him, that she finds him sexually attractive, that the two of them are going to spend time together. But when his hopes are at their highest, she just dashes them. It's like, oh, no. I was just using you for attention. None of that was real. I have no follow through. It's just teasing you. It's so dark. How do women not see how awful that is? It's actually a theme that we return to on this channel a lot. How frightening it is when you consider how little time women spend actually considering the feelings of the men that they interact with, his internal world, his hopes, his dreams, his wants. But low quality women just have that main character syndrome where it's all about her and what selfishly benefiting her life. And in that regard, men just exist to serve her, to make her feel better about herself. You know, all these men that she sees, they're just props. And yeah, she's going to tease them and flirt with them and lead them on in order to get what she wants from them. And then those men can be discarded. She doesn't have to think about what impact she's having on them. And of course, some women justify it by claiming that it's the man's fault for sexually desiring her. You know, that sexist idea that male sexuality and men wanting to be sexual with women is somehow awful and morally abhorrent. Therefore, she's justified in teasing him and leading him on because it's his fault for having sexual impulses in the first place. It really is amazing how much disgraceful behavior you can get away with when you just start with the premise that women are good and men are bad. And I don't buy the whole ignorance argument because as I've said before on this channel, it's in women's best interest to pretend that men don't have thoughts and feelings and desires of their own because it makes them a lot easier to exploit. These are the sort of twisted values and dark psychology that I try and caution my audience against. Like I want you men watching this to be confident, inspired, energetic, masculine leaders. I want you to have plenty of energy for your goals. And in service of that, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, 
NMN by Black Forest Supplements. NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide was originally heralded as the anti-aging molecule because of this fascinating research that was done with mice where the mice that were given NMN were able to run 430 meters as opposed to the control group mice which could only run 240. The science behind it has to do with the muscle degradation that's caused by falling NAD levels that seem to occur as we age. Even though it's new, NMN has people really excited and I'm not treating this sponsorship as like telling my audience, you guys need to take this supplement, but I want to make you aware of its existence. Decisions about your health, that's personal to you. You've got to do your own research. And so I would encourage you to type NMN into YouTube. There's been a bunch of human studies now with some fascinating results. There was one that showed that it improved the motor function of older men. There was another one that showed that it had increased energy levels for those who took it. I'll put a link to those below and do your own research. But if you are interested in trying NMN, then you might want to check out Black Forest Supplements. Their NMN product has 99% pure it's shelf stable so you don't need to put it in the refrigerator and the dosage of their supplements is the same that's being used in the human trials at Harvard. I'll put a link down below if you're ready to get started. Okay back to the women who tease men and use them to get attention. Even though a lot of women don't consciously admit to themselves what it is they're doing, deep down they're aware of just how selfish their behavior is and that's why the word tease has such an impact. That's why it hurts so much. I want to explain to you what her strategy is and why you calling her a tease completely destroys things. So this is how it goes. A girl wants some male attention. She wants a self-esteem boost. So she flirts with you at a party, at work, in the club, wherever it might be. And she leads you to believe that she's interested and she's soaking up all of that attention you give her. But if you ever try and progress things and you're like, hey, Let's hang out. Like, this is definitely seems to be something. We have a connection. Let me get your number. She feigns innocence. She feigns absolute surprise. Like, oh no, that's never what this was about. You've misread these interactions. Her strategy is only going to work if you accept that silently. That's what she wants. And it's dark because it's a form of gaslighting because she wants you to believe that you're crazy, that you've just imagined all these things. Now that she's gotten what she wants from you, she can just slip away into the night. And if you have the audacity as a man to have feelings, to have disappointments, to have issues with the way that she's conducted herself and you call her a tease, she's going to be really angry. The reason is because her strategy is conditional upon her not being found out. She wants to rob you without you being aware that you've just been robbed. It's the perfect crime. And in the instance that there are any upset feelings, then she wants you to believe that that's entirely your fault. There was nothing wrong with her behavior. She wasn't leading you on. It's you. You are misreading things. It's actually evidence of how dark and twisted your psychology as a man that you were sexualizing a perfectly innocent conversation. That's what she wants you to believe. So if you call her a tease, you shatter that illusion. You don't take responsibility for what's occurred. You don't think that the problem has lied in your interpretation. You put the focus squarely on her her choices, her actions, her behavior, and she hates that. She doesn't want to be held responsible for what's occurring here. She doesn't want to be accountable. The accusation of being a tease stings because in reality, it's a really awful thing to do. To lead a man on just to boost your own ego? Who does that? Calling her a tease shows her that you're aware of how selfish her psychology is, how dark her motivations are that she's willing to exploit a man for her own selfish benefit. It paints her as a really awful person. It's a devastating label. It's going to hurt. It's going to rock her. No woman wants to be called a tease. So that leads to the question, should you say it? If a woman has genuinely led you on, should you hold her to account by calling her a tease? My advice is no. Here's the thing. No man looks like he's high quality by calling a woman a tease. He looks bitter. He looks angry. He looks emotional. It just looks like you're responding out of anger for being rejected. And while it might hurt her, you're also hurting yourself. And you need to be aware that there's actually a pretty intense social stigma against men calling women teasers because knowing that it's a word, it's an insult and a label that really will hurt women. A lot of men have used the label tease in situations where it's not actually appropriate. Like think of some dickhead guy who has a delusional expectation of sex, like he's entitled to it. You know, some real narcissistic asshole kind of guy. And so when he's 
with women. He's always pressuring them and like making sexual advances. And when they say no, he's like, oh, you're such a tease. It's dark, right? Like trying to shame a woman into relaxing her sexual boundaries, trying to make her feel guilty about something that she might not have even done. I mean, it's awful. That's the kind of dark male behavior that turns women into man haters. And my read on the current cultural feeling about the word tease is that a lot of women have been called that label in situations where it's not appropriate. And so they have a real trigger about men calling them that. Like if you call a woman a tease, you run the risk of her thinking like, oh my God, this disgusting misogynist who thinks he's entitled to my body, entitled to sex with me. Imagine how it might look to the members of your social circle if you called one of the women that you meet a tease and then she goes back and tells all the girls that you're friends with, like he had the audacity to call me a tease. And then suddenly you're lumped in with all of those guys who have been like pressuring women for sex because they're entitled. And that's how women think of you now. It's not worth it. It's too risky. I think that the term is too loaded. So if you have an interaction with one of these women who is a genuine tease, it sucks that you got led on, that you got manipulated and exploited. You have my sympathy, but I don't think it's worth it for you to call her a tease. The consequences could end up biting you in the butt. So take your lumps, learn your lesson, and the next time find higher quality women to interact with. Some topics I just do not feel comfortable talking about here on YouTube because the content is just way too explosive. And the latest video I posted on my Patreon is one of those. It's whether or not it's racist to have ethnic dating preferences. So if you say like, oh, I only want to date white women or Asian women or black women, What's the degree to which that's like, hey, that's a sexual preference and that's empowering and we should all be celebrating that. And at what point are you just like an outright racist? Very, very touchy subject, but I want to be someone who actually explores these things and tries to bring some rationality and some nuance to it. So if it's a topic that interests you and you want to see that, then you have to head over to my Patreon. It only costs $7. You get instant access to that video plus like 280 other videos at this point. The back catalog of exclusive videos is just enormous. So many different topics. It's all sorted into categories. The value for money is incredible. But if you're looking for advice as it relates to your personal situation, what you're going through, where your dating life's at, how your relationships going on just general thoughts about masculinity you want to hear my input then head over to hey hero tell me what's going on and i create a personalized video just for you and last of all if you're looking to test your knowledge of this stuff check out my paid course 100 sides of women it features six and a half hours of video content would take at least a couple of days to get through and i'm only charging 50 dollars for it it's by far the most in-depth thing I've ever created. I'm so proud of it. The reviews are amazing. There's a video in the description box below that explains how the whole thing works.